basically means that they've been exposed to the elements long enough to have caused a problem. The problem can be changes in skin color, body temperature, and losing consciousness. IEMS says they respond to calls like this every year, so they always have to be aware of any possible signs. It's, it's identifying that there is a problem related to the environment, so nothing specific to train. Uh, again, we, will we prepare? Those preparations are extra layers, limited time outside, and a warm place for crews. This year, the number of cold-related emergency calls is already significantly higher than last year. Last January, IEMS had a daily average of three calls. While IEMS says they are always ready to go, they want people to take the first steps to keep themselves warm and safe. I think number one is, is limit your exposure to the elements. And if you have to be out, make sure you're prepared. Uh, again, proper clothing, good base layers, good coats, hats and gloves. Cover as much of your body as you can. IEMS knows there are a lot of people who don't have the resources to stay warm. So if you see someone who has a medical emergency because of the cold, call 911. In Indianapolis, Anna Chalker, 13 News. So as we've seen, this weather can be dangerous and can cause problems in your home. Mr. Quick told us today they have seen a 60% jump in service calls compared to a typical day. So we tagged along today with plumber Richard Smith checking on an Airbnb property on the near north side of Indianapolis. Here's what they found. The furnace wasn't keeping the main house warm and the water wasn't running in the apartment. The plumber told us that's a sure sign of frozen pipes. Smith found the water main in the apartment frozen, but no frozen pipes in the main house. Anytime you see that temperature get into those ranges and you have an outside wall like this, you always want to make sure you open up the cabinets. Again, have the nice flow drip. Again, this homeowner did everything perfect. Heating technicians are also busy tonight. They've been telling us the most common problem is a dirty air filter that makes the furnace work harder. That can also lead to other component failures. These cold temperatures are keeping many people inside, but for Hoosiers with nowhere to stay, IMPD is working to make sure that they've got the resources that they need. Police are saying that there are about 30 homeless camps across our city. Officers tell us they visited at least a dozen of them today and talked with the people who are braving the cold. During temperatures like this, we try to get out every day and, and, and see as many as we can and ensure those that uh, we know have addiction issues or are or, or, uh, not equipped with being out in this kind of temperature that they have what they need. And if not, convincing them to get to a shelter, um, if we have to take in intervention measures to get them inside somewhere doing that and just providing them with uh, uh, opportunities to get out of the elements. Metro police are telling us they're not trying to force anybody out of their camp. They want to make sure that they're informed. Police officers will be keep uh, will continue to check until that warmer weather returns.